Hello everyone. Welcome back to Crack Grade B. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss the assistant course director previous year paper of 2022 along with its answer. And this particular video is going to be the first one in the series of four lectures that we have planned for the previous year questions. So let us start. Uh, this is the paper for the year 2022, right? First question, let us see this. First question is regarding which one of the following costs are part of both prime cost and conversion cost. See, what is prime cost? Prime cost is your direct material, direct labor, direct expenses, right? What is the conversion cost that we are talking about? Conversion cost may we talk about that what have been your direct expenses along with your manufacturing overheads that have been incurred in order to convert the product into a viable uh, unit, right? So out of all these four options, direct material, manufacturing overhead, administration overhead and direct manufacturing labor cost, which one out of these is the part of prime cost? So this would be your option B, right? Direct manufacturing labor cost because labor cost is included both in prime cost as well as in conversion cost. Now next is you have annual relevant total cost at which minimum at the EOQ at which now total cost would be at minimum at the economic order quantity. See economic order quantity how it is calculated. So it takes into account what is the requirement of the year that means how much units you require yearly what is the ordering cost and what is the carrying cost right so your total cost at the EOQ would be minimum what are the four options if the ordering cost would be higher if ordering costs are lower if both are equal and there is no relationship so the a correct answer is this if you will do the EOQ calculation you would find out that at economic order quantity both ordering cost and carrying cost are more or the less same, right? They are equivalent. So next thing is question number three. For a decision related to replacement of machine, you have to replace a machine. The written down value of the existing machine is, see, when you have already incurred cost on the value machine, right? This is your previous machine. Now you want to take a new machine. Aap ek nahi machine lena chate hai. So whenever you want to replace it, you want to buy a new machine, the cost of old machine is of no relevance for you, right? So that is why we call it as sunk cost because the previous expenditure which has already been made on the old machinery is of no relevance for me as of now and that is why we call it as sunk cost, right? Next is, in inventory control, the stock level computed by the formulas reorder stock level less average consumption into average reorder point would be known as maximum, minimum, average, danger level stock. So, if you have read the costing, you might know that all there are formulas for all these four and they tell us that what is the correct level of inventory maintenance in our business. Thik hai? Hamare business mein correct level of inventory maintenance kya hoga? So this is what it depicts and this is called as the minimum stock level. Minimum stock level is that level. If you reach at that particular level, you should be ordering the stock again. Right. So this is kept as a safety level. Once you reach it, you know that you have to restock yourself. So that is the thing. Hence, the correct answer, this formula which has been given over here belongs to minimum stock level. Next, we have question number five. So again, a very generic question, I would say the portion of raw material which is lost. Portion of raw material we are talking about, please focus. Raw material ka portion which is lost during the storage and production and discarded is known as scrap, spoilage, waste and defective. So defectives, scrap, right and spoilage. Deekho, yaha pe aapko kya ka bola ja hai? That this particular raw material could be spoiled during the process of storage as well. Theke? Matlab kuch bhi nahi, you have just kept the raw material and it could be, uh, it could have waste in that particular period as well. So this is called as waste. Why? 
बिकॉज डिफेक्टिव का मतलब होता है सपोज यू हैव ऑलरेडी मैन्यूफैक्चर्ड एंड आउटपुट एंड देन देर आर सर्टेन डिफेक्ट इन इट विद रिलेशन टू क्वालिटी स्क्रैप ऑल्सो स्क्रैप एंड स्पॉयलेज स्पॉयलेज अगर ड्यूरिंग अ मैन्यूफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस एंड स्क्रैप यू कैन गेट आफ्टर द मैन्यूफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस बट दे बोथ हैव सम अमाउंट ऑफ वैल्यू स्पॉयलेज मे नॉट हैव एनी वैल्यू बट स्क्रैप डज हैव सम वैल्यू एंड इट अकर्स आफ्टर द मैन्यूफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस सो आउट ऑफ दीज द ओनली वायबल ऑप्शन इज वेस्ट वेस्ट जो है इट कुड अकर ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ स्टोरेज एंड इट कुड ऑल्सो अकर ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इट डज नॉट हैव एनी वैल्यू एग्जाम्पल इसका हो सकता है सपोज यू हैव स्टोर्ड अ पर्टिकुलर रॉ मटीरियल एंड इवेपोरेशन हैपेंड इन इट सो वॉट इज वॉट इज इट इट इज कॉल्ड एज दी वेस्ट इसको हम वेस्ट कहेंगे नेक्स्ट इज नॉर्मल आइडल टाइम रिप्रेजेंट्स द टाइम लॉस्ट ड्यू टू राइट सो देर आर फोर ऑप्शन दैट वी हैव normal idle time setting up time for the machinery lack of coordination breakdown non availability of raw materials now you see all these three are abnormal causes right these three have been abnormal causes we do not want a breakdown in machinery that is an abnormal scenario we want our human resource to coordinate among themselves so they are not coordinating there might be some strike or there might be some slow going kind of thing ye sab kuch aapke abnormal causes mein aata hai see normally when you are manufacturing something you need some time to set up the machinery and that is counted under the normal idle time normal idle time matlab jo ki usually hoga right this is not because of any uh, unusual circumstances this is something that you are going to find anyways now uh, next we have the bonus under the halse and roven plan is equal to when the time taken is right so halse or roven plan mein dekho halse plan kya hota hai halse plan gives you a 50% of bonus right but under the roven plan if you are going to apply the formula of bonus it would be equal to halse plan if actual time taken is 50% of the time allowed right because halse plan is by default working like that and in roven plan also this gives you an a uh, what you can say a standard piece right it calculates the bonus on an average so that over speeding can be disallowed but both of the plans will give you same kind of result if the 50 if the time taken has been 50% of the time allowed right now just a second the amount of the amount of over absorption of overheads over absorption of overheads that means your overheads have been incurred more and you have to absorb it more due to abnormal factors see normal factors ki wajah se if there is any overhead then we are i am going to add it to the cost of my product right it is going to be added up over there but if there is any amount of over absorption due to abnormal factors it is going to be transferred to the costing profit and loss account right because somewhere we have to account it for we cannot leave it unaccounted what are the other options you cannot simply ignore it that is not the option you can take adjust by using a supplementary rate no because it is because of the abnormal factors so that is why you have to show it separately and that is why it is taken up to the costing pnl next we have the now over here the questions we which we are going to witness are based on the cost accounting standards right ab jo hum questions dekhenge wo cost accounting standards ke upar based hain so first question let us see as per the cost accounting standard 2 the difference between normal capacity and actual capacity utilized where the actual capacity is lower than the normal capacity what it would be called as actual capacity utilization normal capacity utilization abnormal idle capacity normal idle capacity see what is going to happen already it has been given to you that normal capacity kya hai and actual capacity kya hai right uh if suppose your normal capacity is 1 lakh units right this is 
नॉर्मल कैपेसिटी इज कैलकुलेटेड आफ्टर कंसिडरिंग ऑल द पॉसिबल फैक्टर्स बट इन एक्चुअल इफ यू आर एबल टू प्रोड्यूस ओनली सेवेंटी थाउजेंड यूनिट्स डोंट यू थिंक दैट दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द एबनॉर्मल फैक्टर्स राइट सो दैट इज वाई इट वुड बी कॉल्ड एज द एबनॉर्मल आइडल कैपेसिटी ओके दिस इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज द एबनॉर्मल आइडल कैपेसिटी एंड इट्स डायरेक्ट डेफिनेशन इज गिवन इन द कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड टू now every company which is specified as so we have two kind of uh, industries or uh, if we consider the cost accounting rules cost auditing rules right so there are regulated entities and then there are non regulated entities as well for both of them turnover requirements are different so for regulated in industries they shall get their cost records audited ठीक है ऑडिट करने की रिक्वायरमेंट कब होगी वेन देर ओवरऑल टर्न ओवर फ्रॉम ऑल इट्स प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज इज फिफ्टी क्रोर्स और मोर दे हैव टू मेंटेन द कॉस्ट रिकॉर्ड्स इफ इट इज मोर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव क्रोर्स राइट बट दे हैव टू गेट देयर कॉस्ट रिकॉर्ड्स ऑडिटेड इफ देयर टर्न ओवर इज फिफ्टी और मोर फिफ्टी क्रोर्स और मोर नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन सो एज पर द कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड फोर Royalty paid as a consideration for the use of assets or technology transfer shall form part of prime cost, cost of production, administrative overhead, and selling overhead. See, in this particular scenario, we know that your material labor related expenses they are counted in your prime cost. वो आपके prime cost में आते हैं. But administrative overheads are related to office part. Selling overheads Uh, marketing related expenses distribution and all of those expenses they come under the selling so the option which we are left is cost of production right because the royalty which we are paying is helping us in producing a good right so that is why we will be counting it as the cost of production now all these questions are uh, in a way very much direct ठीक है बिल्कुल डायरेक्ट है इफ यू हैव गॉन थ्रू द कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स यू विल फाइंड द डायरेक्ट आंसर्स फॉर देम एज पर द कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड वन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एन एग्जांपल ऑफ इनडायरेक्ट मटेरियल कॉस्ट ऑलवेज प्लीज रीड द डायरेक्टिव राइट सो इनडायरेक्ट मटीरियल कॉस्ट क्या नहीं है कंज्यूमेबल स्पेयर कॉस्ट ऑफ ल्यूब्रिकेंस फ्रेट इनवर्ड टैक्सेस ड्यूटी कॉस्ट ऑफ कंप्यूटर स्टेशनरी फॉर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव फंक्शन सी ऑल आर दीज आर इन डायरेक्ट वन बट दिस इज दी डायरेक्ट फ्रेट इनवर्ड इज काउंटेड एज अ डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंस वी कैन नॉट कॉल इट एज एन इन डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंस ये डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंस है विच इज डायरेक्टली एडिंग अस टू प्रोड्यूस दी गुड्स और सर्विसेज राइट नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन so as for the cost accounting standard 18 research and development cost should not include right to ab yahan pe dekho there is a complete list that what kind of expenses should be included in the research and development puri aapko list di hui hai if you are going to see the cost accounting standard 18 but how you can identify even out of these four options let us see that try to find out the odd one out so cost of materials and services which is consumed in r&d don't you think it's a valid expense next is salaries wages and the cost of personnel which is engaged in research and development no research can be completed without incurring an expense on to the personnel right salaries and wages and next is expenditure incurred in uh, securing the copyrights or licenses again a valid one so what is not valid is this fines penalties etc while you are doing research it is not expected out of you that you uh, are going to be uh, what you can say uh, breaking rules and laws right rules and laws ko hum aisa assume nahi karte ki aap unko break karenge and that is why this is something which we count as that this is not the correct thing that we should be including here in there are a list of expenses which have been provided that should be counted under the r&d so again a very direct question question number 14 let us see that so as per cost accounting standard 24 which one of the following is classified as revenue from operations okay credits from previous year adjustment dividend income on investment gains on foreign currency trans uh, transaction and translation and then 
export incentives that has been received from the government see such kind of questions you can easily solve just by looking at the options right so over here if you are going to see uh, correctly credits for previous year this is also income and this is also a gain but the export incentives which you are receiving as per the cost accounting standard that can be counted as your revenue from operations okay aap usko count kar sakte hain because under the cost accounting standard 24 it has been written directly ki along with the sales if there is any export incentive which has been received from the government that shall be counted as the revenue theek hai wo aap apna revenues ko count kar sakte hain next thing which one of the following methods is used by a motor workshop see in a motor workshop different client come right and for every client the kind of job they want us to perform as a motor workshop owner they want us to perform is different right so every job is different every client is different so that is why what we are going to follow in this is job costing right process costing operating costing contract costing they are related to for suppose for contract costing we are going to do a one particular contract right and there are lot of things involved job costing may uh this is also in a way contract but small value contracts and a lot of customers are there right but whereas in contract costing significant thing is there process costing is related to the uh, manufacturing process theek hai ye manufacturing process se related hai and operations costing for example if you have a bus so that would be counted under the operations cost uh, operation operating costing now next is question number 16 so which one of the following is not true in case of job costing let us see that so this is what i have explained you just now not true hame batana hai a job is carried out and product is produced by a specific order cost is determined for each job each job depends on other job so that is wrong just now i told you in a mechanic shop every client's order is different from another client they are not related theek hai ek job dusri job se related नहीं है एंड दैट इज वॉट इज नॉट ट्रू अबाउट दी जॉब कॉस्टिंग बिकॉज ऑल द जॉब आर डिफरेंट नाउ लेट इज सी दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन सो देर इज प्रोडक्ट एक्स ठीक है एक आपका है प्रोडक्ट एक्स एंड आउट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट देर आर टू बाय प्रोडक्ट दैट इज एम एंड एन नाउ दे हैव गिवेन एस दैट देर इज अ जॉइंट कॉस्ट 131600 that means in order to produce all these three products together we have incurred 131600 rupees now they want to know that please reduce the cost of m and n out of this aapko yahan se is 131600 mein se you have to remove the cost of producing m and n and then you have to tell that what is the cost of x right this is something that you need to tell now how we are going to decide it we are going to do the back calculation part okay hum isme back calculation karenge let us see this say so first of all i am doing the calculation for m what is the sales of m sales of m is 80000 right out of this you see there have been selling expenses 20% and estimated profit on m is 25% so 25% of 80000 i deducted out of 80000 what i will get is 60000 right so this means what revenue less profit is the total cost now out of this total cost they have also told me that there are selling expenses on sales 20% परसेंट दोनों ही प्रोडक्ट पे सो सिक्सटी परसेंट का सिक्सटी थाउजेंड का इफ यू आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट दी ट्वेंटी परसेंट सॉरी नॉट सिक्सटी थाउजेंड बट एटी थाउजेंड एटी थाउजेंड इज दी सेल एटी थाउजेंड इंटू ट्वेंटी परसेंट सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड राइट एंड इवन आउट ऑफ इट दिस इज द टोटल कॉस्ट आई रिमूव द सेलिंग एक्सपेंसिस देन आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू रिमूव द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एक्सपेंसिस आफ्टर सेपरेशन टेन my total that what is the m contribution in this joint cost 
एम का कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इस जॉइंट कॉस्ट में क्या है एंड दिस गिवस मी अराउंड थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड सी दिस इज द रिवेन्यू लेस प्रॉफिट दिस इज माई टोटल कॉस्ट आई डिडक्टेड माई सेलिंग एक्सपेंसिस एज वेल एज द एक्सपेंसिस विच हैव बीन इंकर्ड स्पेसिफिकली ऑन एम सो दिस गिवस मी द जॉइंट कॉस्ट ऑफ एम राइट देन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एन एन के बारे में बात करते हैं सो ओवर हियर वॉट इज द सेल्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इज द सेल्स वट हैज बीन द प्रॉफिट थर्टी परसेंट so i'm going to deduct the 30% that means 50000 less 30% of it something we are going to get 15000 maine isko yahan se minus kar diya i will get my total cost as 35000 then selling expenses on sale so 50000 into 20% 10000 and then i have got certain manufacturing expenses as well that was 8000 so this will give me 35 less 10000 less 8000 it is going to give me 17000 right this is been the joint cost that has been incurred on n so can i say that if from 131 600 that has been the joint cost which has been incurred on all three products if i will remove 34 and i will remove 17 i will get my answer that has been incurred just on the product x so what is this this is going to be at 80600 this has been this will be the my correct answer theek hai ye mera jo hai sahi answer hoga fine now next question let us see that question number 18 so in contract costing this is the straight cut formula in contract costing the cost of work certified how you are going to calculate it so cost of work to date less cost of work uncertified less material in hands less plant at site cost of work to date plus cost of work uncertified less material in hand and less plant at site then you have cost of work to date then again addition yahan pe bhi addition tha cost of work uncertified plant material in hand and plant at site and then you have cost of work to date less cost of work uncertified material in hand plus plant at site dekho jab bhi aapke contract costing ke bare mein hum baat karte hain work certified and work uncertified means whatever amount you have incurred till date how much out of that has been certified right that has been approved to be okay so if you see these two options are directly incorrect for me because i have to find out of my total cost jitna bhi maine kharcha aaj tak kiya hai out of that how much is uncertified how much raw material i have and how much investment i have plant at site right so out of my total cost the part which is not yet uncertified i am going to remove it and then i'll going to get my answer that is cost of work certified next i have question number 19 let's see this so o limited is working on a contract which is uh, now there is has been lot of information which is given they want to know estimated profit right they have given me contract price 325 lakh they have given me total expenditure till date and the additional expenditure which is we are thinking that going to happen i need only that much direct formula contract price that means the total amount out of which how much expenditure i have already done and how much i am still supposed to do and this is going to give you your answer of 75 lakhs that this is your estimated profit because this is usually how do we calculate right the total contract price less the total expenses how much you have done and how much more you are going to do next is question number 20 so a pharmaceutical company has an annual demand of 60000 for its specific medicine whose setting up cost per batch is 10000 and the carrying cost per unit 
per month is 1 rupees. What is the economic batch quantity? You have to uh, do uh, apply the formula of EOQ. That is 2, annual requirement, ordering cost, carrying cost. Right? Now, so 2 multiplied by annual requirement has been given to me 60,000. Ordering cost has been given to me 10,000 divided by, this is the catch. Now, the carrying cost has been given to you is 1 rupees per month. So, for the yearly, what is this going to be? 12 rupees. Okay, ye aapka yearly hoga. And this is going to give you your answer, which is going to be B, 10,000. Just solve this and you will get your answer, right? Right, 10,000 into 10,000, you will get 10,000 as your answer. So, this is much that I will be covering in this particular lecture, right? Uh, we have covered uh, <clears throat> one sixth part of this particular paper. If uh, you found it useful, please do not forget to like this particular video and please stay uh, connected. We are going to cover more parts of it in the upcoming series. Thank you so much.